Hi, it's Katrina. Can you believe that only around 5% of the world's oceans have been explored? From diving between tectonic plates to finding hundreds of new species, here are nine incredible things discovered by divers. Number nine, 13,000 year old human remains. Some of the oldest known human remains in the Americas were discovered in recent years, deep in the underwater cave systems of the Yucatan Peninsula in modern-day Mexico. In 2007, a team of divers found the ancient skeleton of a teenage female whom they named Naya. Her remains were estimated to be over 12,000 years old. When Naya died, the underwater caves were dry. She plunged 190 feet into a pit and probably died instantly. Her remains are remarkably well preserved, making her the most complete and genetically intact human skeleton in the New World. An analysis of Naya's DNA revealed that she was a genetic forerunner to modern Native Americans. The divers who discovered Naya returned to the underwater caves in 2010 and discovered a male skeleton. They announced the discovery on Twitter before excavating the remains, attracting looters to the cave. Only 10% of the skeleton was left behind. The young man of Chan Hole 2, as he was named, dated back more than 13,000 years. This is why many archaeological discoveries are now kept secret, and we don't find out about them until much later. A third skeleton that was found nearby dates back approximately 13,500 years. At the end of the last ice age, as the polar ice caps melted, sea levels rose and the caves filled with water, effectively preserving some of the earliest evidence of human settlement in North America. Number 8. Swedish Atlantis In 2011, a team of divers discovered a collection of Stone Age artifacts off the Swedish coast in the Baltic Sea. Included among the relics were a harpoon made from animal bone, flint tools, animal horns, wood, ropes, and the bones of ancient animals called aurochs. The items were found 16 meters below the surface during an archaeological dive by Professor Bjorn Nilsson from Södertörn University and a team from Lunds University. Thanks to a gel-like sediment called gitja, which covers the diving area, the artifacts are well preserved. Gitja, or gaitja, is formed when peat decays and there was a buildup of it in the diving area around 11,000 years ago, according to Nilsson. I'm sure you've heard of peat bogs where we have found ancient human and animal remains. Well, this is the same idea, but in the water, which makes it a perfect place for a discovery. Archaeologists believe the objects were left behind by Swedish nomads around 9,000 years ago and that the site may be one of the oldest settlements ever discovered in the Nordic region. People were quick to nickname the settlement Sweden's Atlantis after the mythical lost city. Everyone was pretty excited about it, although to be politically correct, archaeologist Nilsson was quick to refute such claims, stating that the settlement was likely temporary and that no permanent village may have ever existed at the site. I like the Swedish Atlantis though, got your attention, didn't it? We have to make archaeology sexy if we want people to care about it. Number 7. An Ancient Forest In 2015, divers Don Watson and Rob Spray of the volunteer group Sea Search discovered the remains of a 10,000-year-old forest off the coast of Norfolk, England, at the bottom of the North Sea. Pretty cool place for a forest to hide. Watson found the forest just 300 meters from shore. At first, she thought she'd encountered the remains of a shipwreck. Upon taking a closer look, Watson realized the great wave of black stuff in front of her was the remains of oak trees. The trees were once part of Doggerland, a landmass that connected the UK to mainland Europe until after the last ice age, when it was submerged by the rising sea levels caused by melting glaciers. At one time, the forest stretched from England to Germany. And now for number six, do you have any diving adventure stories to share? I'm thinking about becoming a certified scuba diver and I'm open to any advice. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like these. Number six, an underwater river. The dense tropical jungle of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is littered with amazing cenotes, which are sinkholes caused by collapsed limestone that exposes the groundwater. One of the region's sinkholes, the Cenote Angelita, comes with an extra surprise. It contains a distinct underwater river, located about 100 feet below the surface. From the outside looking in, the Cenote Angelita looks like a typical pool of calm, fresh water, surrounded by vegetation. But if you dive deep enough, you'll encounter a 3-meter thick cloud of hydrogen sulfide, a colorless, toxic gas that is fatal to inhale. When a cenote is formed, the freshly exposed groundwater mixes with saltwater seeping in from an underground channel connected to the ocean. 
the fresh water floats above the salt water, where the two meet, a layer of brackish water called halocline forms. Leaves and debris often cannot sink past this layer. Clouds of hydrogen sulfide, like the one in the Cenote Angelita, are created as a result of a buildup of vegetation and organic matter rotting in the sinkhole. Divers can't wait to explore this river shrouded in a cloud of toxic gas. Number 5. Shifting Tectonic Plates British scuba diver, marine biologist, and underwater photographer Alexander Mustard is one of the few people who can say they've swum between two continents. How? He entered a gap between the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates near Iceland. The plates are separating at a rate of about one inch per year, and Mustard has captured breathtaking images during his dives into the crevice. Diving the 80 feet into the gap is risky. The diver will likely encounter hot springs, faults, valleys, volcanoes, and uneven rock formations. But to Mustard, who's an experienced diver, the risks are worth it to be able to fly through the clear water and explore the fault lines in three dimensions, as he put it. He said, I have dived all around the world and this is almost certainly the clearest water I have ever been in. It sounds like a once in a lifetime experience. This is so amazing, isn't it? Number 4. A Missing World War II Era Submarine In 2016, divers off the coast of Sardinia found the remains of the long-lost British World War II submarine HMS P311. The initial discovery was made by Massimo Domenico Bordone, a wreck hunter based in Genoa, Italy. He identified the ruins as the HMS P311 by the vessel's two chariot-style manned torpedoes. The 275-foot submarine sits at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, under 328 feet of water. Before the vessel was found by Bordone and his team, it was last seen on December 28, 1942, as it left Malta carrying 71 servicemen. The HMS P311 then seemingly vanished into thin air. Chances are the submarine was sunk by an Italian mine, but nobody knows for sure. All 71 lives on board were lost. The remains are believed to be sealed inside the vessel, the interior of which has not yet been explored, and it is likely that it will be left alone in honor of the fallen. Number 3. Underwater Crop Circles Japanese scuba diver and photographer Yoji Ukata has dedicated over half a century to exploring underwater mysteries. During a dive near Amami Oshima off the southern tip of Japan in 2012, Ukata stumbled upon something he'd never seen before, despite his decades of diving experience. Nearly 80 feet below the water's surface, at the bottom of the sea, was a circular geometric pattern in the sand, roughly 6 feet in diameter. Ukata dubbed the strange design the Mystery Circle, and returned to the site with a documentary crew to further explore the phenomenon. They discovered that the artwork was being created by a small species of pufferfish. The fish is only a few inches long and uses a single fin to create the sand sculpture, working tirelessly until their masterpiece is complete. The primary purpose of the design is to attract mates. Females are attracted to the hills and valleys of the circle and use it to find their way to the male. Upon mating, she lays the eggs in the center. Number 2. Brinicles Brine icicles, or brinicles, have several nicknames, including sea stalactites and icicles of death. They might be pretty, but these things are very strange. These beautiful but deadly tentacles result from impurities like salt being forced out during the formation of Arctic and Antarctic sea ice. As the stream of salt drains from the ice, the surrounding water becomes more saline, lowering its freezing temperature and increasing its density. The brine sinks as a result, causing the warmer seawater around it to flash freeze and form the tube-like brinicle. Once the brinicle reaches the sea floor, a web of ice forms and spreads around it. As it freezes, the ice traps anything in its path, including starfish and sea urchins. As you know, these critters move extremely slowly, so they don't have time to escape the icy fingers, hence the brinicle's nickname, Icicle of Death. In 2011, BBC filmmakers in Antarctica recorded the formation of a brinicle using time-lapse cameras. Altogether, the process took around 12 hours, and once the brinicle hit the sea floor, the surrounding ice web spread 20 feet. Poor starfish didn't stand a chance. The marine animals that wandered into them have left nothing but skeletons behind. 
Andrew Thurber, a professor from Oregon State University, described the experience of witnessing a brinicle form firsthand, stating, they look like upside down cacti that are blown from glass, like something from Dr. Seuss's imagination. They're incredibly delicate and can break with only the slightest touch. Brinicles were first discovered during the 1960s, and there is a theory that the earliest forms of life may have evolved from these brinicles. When the Earth was an icy snowball over half a billion years ago, brinicles could have provided the ideal conditions for life to evolve in this tiny niche. This could have implications for life on other planets and moons. Perhaps it is there, underneath the surface of icy places. Number 1. 100 New Species In 2018, scientists announced the discovery of the Rare Light Zone, more formally called the Rarephotic Zone. It's an ocean zone extending from 130 meters to 300 meters deep. The new section was discovered during a research trip to Bermuda led by marine scientists from Oxford University and organized by Necton, a British nonprofit organization for ocean exploration. Over 100 species were discovered within the new zone, including minute crustaceans called tenides, dozens of algae species, and black wire coral, standing up to two meters tall. As if that weren't enough, the team found an undersea mountain roughly 15 miles off the coast of Bermuda with a major algae forest on its peak. Can you believe all of these things that have just been discovered? It's amazing how many things about the ocean we just don't know. During the hundreds of hours the team spent in the water, they used a combination of remote-operated vehicles, or ROVs, and scuba divers. Alex Rogers, professor of conservation biology at Oxford and scientific director of Necton, said that considering the Bermudian waters have been comparatively well studied for many decades, we certainly weren't expecting such a large number and diversity of new species. Well, that's for sure. The discovery indicates that there may be far more marine species and a greater variety of ocean life than previously thought. Thanks for watching! Here's a quick shout out to some amazing subscribers! Which discovery did you like the most? Were you surprised by any of these? Let me know in the comments below! Remember to subscribe if you are new here and I'll see you next time! Bye!